<laughs> Good afternoon, folks. It's War Machine, and welcome to Fat Guy Fitness. I know it's been a long time. Um, I apologize. I've been a little bit sidetracked, taking care of some stuff, and but I promise I'm uh, I'm right back at it now, making content, and I'm going to have more videos up. Uh, I plan to have one up every weekend from now through the end of the summer. So that's something to look forward to. Um, I'm certainly very interested in getting everybody's opinions and, and getting to everybody and hearing what they got to say. So if you guys have a suggestion for a video, feel free to put it in the comments down here somewhere. <laughs> or you can send it directly to me as a message or an email. Or you can just post it right on my page. Um, with <laughs> it certainly has been a while and I have missed every single one of you. So before we get started on today's video... I need you guys to like, subscribe, and change your notification settings, and click that follow button so that every time I create content, you get to see it. Also, I'm going to need you guys to head on over to Chaotic Squirrel Creations. Here's their logo right up here, right down here. Oh, I've got coffee today. Right down here somewhere on the bottom of the screen. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I may even stick it over here. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be their web address, so I need you to go ahead and click that, follow the link, and check out the really cool stuff in their store. I'm going to give you guys a rough idea of what they can do. Um, they made the Fat Guy Fitness hoodie. They did three of them for me. They can do water bottles. They can do keychains. They can do bottle openers. They can do this really cool thing called a cold smoke tumbler. So if you're in alternative recovery methods the way that I am, it's very helpful. It doesn't burn the lungs. It's excellent. They can also do shirts. They can also do oh cripes bumper stickers business cards coffee mugs you name it i'm sure they can do it and if you have an idea and you submit it i'm sure they can find a way to accommodate you now now we've gotten all that out of the way let's get into today's video today's video is going to be about one of my absolute favorite accessories called the floor press the really cool thing about a floor press is not only can you make it an accessory but you can build an entire workout around it it's amazing the idea behind the floor press it depends on who you ask, but if you ask my opinion, the idea behind it is going to be to hit these triceps right here, target some of the inner chest, and a little bit out here, and you're definitely going to feel it in the front and possibly the side delts depending on um, what you do, how much weight you do, and what kind of bar you use. Um, also, positioning is important, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get right into the video, and I'll be heading over to the gym to do this, so I want to thank my friends at the zoo for letting me film. Alright, so as you can see, I'm here at the zoo, and I have selected the multi-grip bar. Each one of these grips is going to have a, uh, excuse me, a neutral grip aspect to it, but depending on where they put them, it's going to change the way that it hits the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. So I'm going to, for this one, select the closest grip. Now I've got my hood up because i got to lay on the floor, and I don't want this gross stuff in my hair and on my head skin. Head skin? Yeah, I guess scalp. Scalp is <laughs> Scalp's the word I was looking for. Um, so you're going to want to put something between your head and the floor. Any kind of barrier is better than nothing. Is And uh, just make sure you shower after. So, boom, I take the bar off. My feet are flat because I don't want my legs to contribute to the weight being moved. I want it all in the triceps, shoulders, and chest. So I'm looking for seven reps here. Real easy. As soon as the elbows touch the floor, I'm going back up. If I so choose, I can pause here and really put a strain on these triceps, but that's not what I'm looking for with this exercise. So, this is a very simple breakdown. I'm going to go ahead and rack it, and let's continue the edit. Well, as you can see, that whoop, camera was shaking here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm back at the pit. It's amazing what you can do with editing. It really is. <laughs> that's the floor press. The really cool thing about the floor press is, like I said, you can develop an entire workout around that. If you're interested, let me know. I'll be more than happy to give you guys tips on how to do that. The, the reason I chose to do the floor press is because sometimes you just have to have a solid accessory that's going to help build those movers, and it's going to take the stress off the chest and off of the joints and put it on those muscles so you can have something to look forward to. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I do a bench press, it is a balls-out difficult day and I really need something that I like at the end of the push movement to help keep me motivated 
when I finish my accessory exercises and walk out the door. If you guys got any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments. Send a message to me directly if you want. Otherwise, that's it. I will see you guys next time and enjoy your workout.